everyone. Welcome back to Marketing 100, where my good friend John Halberg at The Salon Business and I go through our top 100 tips for you to level up your salon or spa business. Today, well, actually today, I don't know what we're talking about. John, what are we talking about today? So what I wanted to bring up as a tip for this week is just making sure that you are sending out more targeted campaigns when you're sending out like email campaigns or it could be text campaigns or whatever format you're using that you're targeting that to the receiver of the message and that you're not just blasting everyone with the same message. Because when we get like more targeted with our marketing, marketing doesn't really feel like marketing anymore. It's more like a service, right? When we're actually reaching people with the right message at the right time with something that is actually like relevant for them, it becomes more like a service. It's not, it's not marketing. And I think we can all tell the difference from like when we open our email boxes and you have something in there that is not relevant and just like someone just sending out their sales message. And it's not great for that brand, right? You kind of like the connection you create with that brand is not great. Whereas if you actually receive something where it's like, oh, actually, I was just looking for this type of service or I'm actually in need of this product, you can kind of feel how that is relevant to you and where you are. It's like it's day and night, right? The effectiveness of that marketing is day and night. I was thinking back to sort of like the emails I receive that actually like make an impact or the ones where I actually like want to click through on something. It's so rare that I actually do click through on an email. I think we're all sort of predisposed to just like tuning out some of like the marketing that you receive, especially through like your inbox is probably a nightmare just like mine is. But like every now and then there is something in there where I'm like, oh yeah, I actually, I, I did want that. Uh, I was shopping around for something like this or it's just like a sort of nick of time kind of thing. It can be sort of hard to pin down what that is, but if you're smart about the way that you target your, your email marketing or if you find ways to sort of understand your clientele, your customers and what they purchase better, I think it's actually a way that you can really level up your sales game as well. Like you have a client that usually is back every eight weeks and now, you know, more time has passed. So they haven't been back in. That would be like a targeted message, right? We're actually like reaching out with a specific incentive or a campaign for them to, to come back, right? That's not a campaign that you would like to send to everyone because you don't want to like may maybe have that offer out to everyone. But to those clients that haven't been back for a period of time, you can kind of like activate that with a more targeted message to those people so that they can come back and book, book you in. That would be one example. In the same vein as rebooking, I think you can also sort of get like a general timeline of when clients buy a particular product or type of product and know about when they're going to be out of it, right? Like if you can see they purchase it every six months, then you know that, you know, coming up maybe five months, something like that, that's the time when you can remind them to purchase it or maybe you can get them to inch that up a little bit closer you know, when they purchase, maybe you have an incentive or something like that. And instead of missing them along the line, you know, instead of them maybe picking it up somewhere else at, at some time period in there, they have a reason to buy it from you. They remember you and they, have, they remember to book with you again or they remember to come in for something else. Whatever the case is, you're building in those touch points. You know what I mean? Where you can kind of really can keep yourself top of mind with your clientele through that messaging. When you kind of combine this like targeted messaging with automation and you can have these automations trigger on certain events and send like personalized messages you know that's where you can really get targeted here right and it starts to really feel like you as a business really knows the individual and they really can you know that you really like connect with and understand their needs you actually see that data and use that data to continue to market to effectively to your clientele and you know get in touch with them at the intervals that make the most sense you're collecting data every day you're collecting a ton of data every day through all the appointments you book and the products you sell and, and everything else and you should be able to put that data to use that's one of those things that i think is an important and integral part of your of this marketing flow this of creating email campaigns is being able to use the information you have to reach out at an opportune time and get in touch with your clientele that's one of the things that we like we talked about recently with Mangoment that was super cool is you can sort of use that information of if a client bought a product this many weeks ago or more, um, then we send this email that has like this promotion. You can choose the specific messaging that you want for that type of client, right? And, and maybe you can tailor the language to be really specific too. Maybe it's a curly hair product and you can include something in that message that's about like feeling frizzy. It can be kind of kitschy and fun and cute or whatever, 
and maybe it's got like a 10% discount or whatever the case is because you're trying to get them to buy a month sooner than they normally would. Those kinds of things work. You know what I mean? Like they actually make a difference and they make people feel like you're talking to them and it's not something they expect, right? It kind of nails that surprise and delight element that we talk about a lot of the time. It's like super important for, for uh, businesses to remain novel and top of mind. That's the sort of like the, the part that ties it all back together is if you can use automation to help make informed decisions about the email campaigns you send out, mm -hmm. then you win. Then you really win, right? Because then, then you're taking things that could be really complex and time consuming or difficult. And it makes it so easy with something you're already doing, you know? All right. So thanks for tuning in to today's episode where we've been talking about how you can personalize and send more targeted communication to your clients based on their past behavior, based on the information that you have of them. Because when you do what you send becomes just more relevant. It doesn't feel like marketing, like you're just trying to sell something. It actually becomes a service where you're reaching them with the right message at the right time. We've been touching on technology here today. The software we use is called Mango Mint. Uh, you're probably well aware of that. We're leaving some links in the description here. In Mango Mint, you have all these like flows that you can set up both automations. You can segment your customers, send very targeted campaigns based on past behaviors or how they've been acting with your business in the past. So that's what we would use for this. Uh, so links in the description for that. And we look forward to seeing you inside of an upcoming video.